In this video, pag-usapan naman natin si regression analysis. Objectives natin, number one, define the linear regression, calculate and interpret the slope and y-intercept of the regression line, predict the value of the dependent variable, which is our y, given ang ating independent variable, which is x. And then let's use the regression analysis in solving the problem. First, define muna natin what is a regression analysis. Based on the definition, it is a powerful tool in predicting the value of one variable to the given value of another variable, which is the independent, which are related to each other. Ang independent natin ay si x, ang dependent natin ay si y. Regression analysis also used an equation of a straight line, which is y is equals to a plus bx. If you remember, meron tayong uh, linear equation which is dy equals to mx plus b. C slope intercept form. It's a linear equation wherein ang m natin ay si slope and yung ating b ay si y intercept. Here, in regression analysis, we use a variable a and b which is c a ang y intercept. And then yung B natin ay C, slope. Okay? Regression analysis to determine the trend of the related variables, whether rising or falling. Okay? So let us discuss more ang ating regression equation na gagamitin. Okay? Ang A natin has a formula of the summation of Y times the summation of the X squared minus summation of X times summation of XY all over N, the sample size, times the summation of the x squared minus summation of x na naka squared. So, para makompute niyan sa calcio, pwede pong diretso or pwede ito po yung ating pattern sa calculator. Or you can use, you can remove the parenthesis here, change it ng times. Pwede rin po. Ayan. Okay. Next is, ang b natin, ang ating slope, wherein ang formula natin ay n times summation of xy minus the summation of x times summation of y divided by n times the summation of x squared minus the squared of summation of x. And then sa calculator natin, pwede nyo po yung input na diretsong ganyan if high-tech yung calc nyo. Pero kung mga calc nyo is mga pang two-liner calculator, ito naman po ang gagamitin nyo pattern. Again, pwede nyo po itong palitan ng times. Ito rin po. Ito rin. Okay? Wherein, si Y natin is the criterion measure. And then, X is the predictor. A is the ordinate or the point where the regression line crosses the Y axis or yung ating Y intercept. And then, B is the weight or the slope of the line. So, how to do a regression analysis number one? If R is significant, then proceed to regression analysis. Meaning to say, Kapag po may relationship yung dalawang variable, then we can proceed to regression analysis. Meaning, we have to compute first or we have to see first if meron bang relationship yung dalawang variable. Paano yon By using the correlation coefficient, person R. So, kapag po walang, yung, walang relationship yung dalawang variable, don't use the regression equation. Okay? Next, number two, find the values of A and B, yung ating y-intercept and then slope of the line. After we get the value of A and B, lagay naman po natin siya or i-substitute naman po natin siya sa ating formula which is the y is equals to A plus Bx. And then number four, we can predict the y if x is known or given ng x natin. We can predict our y. Okay? So, kumbaga, in, in regression analysis, ginagamit po natin to to predict okay, the future values. Meaning to say, Kung meron kang import or export, example. So, from 2010 to 2020, you got the data from the import and export. So, those data, those data for 10 years, kasi 2010 to 2020, so 10 years, ibig sabihin, gagamitin mo po yung data na yan to make a model or what I say, to make an equation na pwede nating magamit to predict the future value. For example, after 5 years, what will be the import and export natin? 
So using the regression analysis, we can foresee or predict what will be the future import-export. Okay? Hindi man siya yung exactly mangyayari, but at least we can foresee or we can predict what will happen next. Okay? In stat, ganun naman po talaga, di ba? Uh, we use the statistics to estimate or approximate. Even though hindi po yung pinaka true value, but at least we know the estimations and or the approximation of the value. Okay, so let's have an example. Gamitin po natin yung example natin kay correlation analysis. So, ito yung example natin kanina. Given na po dyan yung x, yung y, yung x squared, y squared, and x, y. But here, we don't need the y squared. Ang kailangan lang po natin yung summation ni x, ni x, y, x squared at nung product ni x, y. So, kunin po muna natin yung value ng a and b. So, ang formula po natin for the a is ito. Okay? And then, para sa calc u, ito po yung ating pattern. Again, pwede po natin palitan to ng times. Ito rin. At ito. Okay, yung y po natin ay si 40. Summation ng x squared natin si 383. Summation ng x natin ay 41. Summation ng x, y natin ay 351. N po natin ay 5 kasi 5 students. X squared natin is 383. Summation ng x natin ay 41. So, compute po natin yan. Tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging value ng a natin. So, calculate lang po natin. So, we have open parentheses and then 40 times 383, diretsyo na natin, minus 41 times 351, and then for close po natin. So, isang open and close lang po ginamit ko dyan. Kasi ang ginamit ko dito is yung times naman sa gitna. Pero kung gagamit po kayo ng mga parentheses, dalawa po yung open. Okay, and then divide, open ulit. And then we have 5 times 383 minus 41. Diretsyo squared. Pwede na po yan. And then close natin. Okay. And then equals. So, kailangan po natin ay naka-decimal. So, kuha lang po tayo ng 4 decimal places. Pwedeng 2 or pwedeng 4 po. So, but here, gamit tayo ng 4 decimal places. So, we have 3.9701. Okay, 4 decimal lang po ang ginamit ko. Okay, next naman natin i-compute yung ating B. So, ang N natin ay 5. And then, XY natin ay 351. X natin ay 41. Y natin ay 45. And then, ang X squared natin ay 383. And then, ang X natin ay 41. Okay, so kung high-tech yung calc nyo, pwede nyo na po yan i-compute. Pwede naman po dito sa ating calcium. So, ito lang po yung pindutin natin yung fraction. And then, 5 times 351 minus 41 times 40. And then, sa baba, down, 5 times 383 minus 41 squared. Okay, and then, equals. So, magiging sagot po natin ay kuha ulit po tayo ng 4 decimal places. Okay, so pwede po ito yung pattern nyo. Again, pwede po itong times, times, times. Okay. So magiging sagot natin, kuha lang tayo ng 4 decimal places. We have 0 0.4915. Okay, so ito na po yung ating B. So we got now the A and the B. So pwede na po natin makuha ang ating regression equation. So ang ating formula will be y equals to a plus bx. Where in ang a natin is equals to 3.9701 plus ang b natin ay 0 0.4915 and then copy si x. So ito na po yung ating regression equation or siya na po yung statistical model natin na magagamit natin to predict the score in English if the student got 15 score in math. So kailangan daw po natin kuhanin yung ating score in English kapag ang score niya sa math ay 15. Ito pong 15, di ba yan po yung x natin? Kasi score in math is si x. So, substitute lang po natin. So, magkaroon tayo dito. So, we have x is equals to 15. So, we have y is 